Yep, there's a herring under all that. Yeah, beauty. One for the smoker. G'day everyone. So something a bit different today. No kayak. I'm just off the rocks. So my gear's here. Bucket of gear. Couple of rods. And the goal is pretty simple. I just want three or four herring. Maybe half a dozen. And I want to put them on the smoker, the sabo. So that's the goal. Catch a few herring. Yeah, so, a bit of squid for bait. I've got a couple of rods here. Old fashioned burly blobs. Going old school this morning. Let me untangle them. They're all tied up. Anyway, I'll sort this out and then we're into it. Right, eh? here we go. Old school. Burly blob, a little bit of squid for bait. Send it out. Hopefully, we can pick up one or two herring. <coughs> Excuse me if I break into coffin while I'm talking to you. I've uh, just had the dreaded spicy cough. It finally got me. The uh, virus of unspecified origins. It got me. So, if I start coughing and splattering, you know why. All right, I got one. Also got a lot of weed. <laughs> so this is a bit of a pain, but oh well. Hopefully I can get it in. <coughs> Excuse me, there's that spicy throat. Come on little fish. Now I've got a herring on but I also got a pile of weed on. I hope I've still got a herring on. Come on. Yep, there's a herring under all that. Yeah, beauty. One for the smoker. There he is. Awesome. Great stuff. Oh, well, let's see if we can get a few more of these. Out she goes. Boy, how's that sunrise, eh? That's worth looking at. Fantastic. Oh, there's another one, but he's right in that pile of weed there. <laughs> oh, man. I think it's going to be a difficult morning. We've had terrible weather lately, and it's obviously blown all the weed in here. I just hope I can keep him attached. I'll bring all this pile of weed in. Is he still on there? Or am I just bringing in a pile of weed? I think I lost the fish. Yeah, I did. Okay. Now I'll try again. Well, it's tough going so far. One fish for 20 casts. Oh well, keep trying. Alright, got a 
fish again, finally. It's been a long time. We got ah, another herring, you beauty. Awesome. Yeah, it's been a while. All right, that's a couple of herring. It was some. There we go, another one. Ripper. So I've actually changed rigs. I had a a floating blob, but I've put a slow sinking burly cage on there, and I've gone from no bites. To plenty of bites. There he is, little herring. Oh, got off. Oh well, good on you, mate. So let's see if I can uh, repeat that. So I changed from that floating blob to this little burly cage here. Let's see if I can get another bite. I think we've got another herring. Let's see if I can get this one in without losing him. Or is it a blowy? No, it's a herring. Or is, oh no, it's a trumpeter. <laughs> oh, we don't want them. Back you go, mate. Alright, what have we got here? Last fish for the day. Fingers crossed for a herring. What do we got? What have we got? Is it a herring? No, this is a trumpeter. Oh well. Yeah, mate. All right, there it is. So pretty slow morning, really, but um, oh well, picked up a couple of fish. I've left them to it now. I don't know if you can see, but those two guys there, they just came and fished right on top of me, so I just leave them to it. That's why I always fish from the kayak. <laughs> no one's going to come right on top of you. But uh, anyway, it's a public fishing platform, so good luck to them. So, a couple of herring, there we go, a couple of small fish, not a huge catch, but uh, I'm going to put that on the smoker later for lunch or dinner, depending on when I get to it. So, see you then. Still a ripper morning, guy out on his kayak there. Anyway, see you in the shed. So good day again everyone, this is uh, the fish I caught this morning and um, all I've done is I've butterflied them and they're ready to go on the barbie. Got some veggies there, I've got some corn and some sweet potato, sweet corn, sweet potato. Uh, what else have I got? Garlic, chilli flakes, all purpose seasoning and olive oil. Got some coals on the go here, they're just about ready. And they're going to go in the little barbie here very shortly. So, we'll get into it. Okay, these coals are ready. Let's get them in. It's 
lot of heat but that's exactly what we want get that grill in there now let's get the veggies and we'll give the veggies a bit of a head start over the fish Veggies get a bit of a head start. Now, because it's a pretty, pretty modest catch, only two fish, what I've done is I've pulled some squid out of the freezer, crumbed some squid, and I'm gonna deep fry some squid to go with it. So, just to uh, make it look a bit more like a meal than, than uh, just a couple of fish. Righto, these veggies have been chipping away for a while now. Perfect. Ow, hot. So, just make a bit of room there. Hang on, I need my pliers. Right, so before I put the fish on, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, green timber from my lemon tree on the coals. That's going to create a really quick burst of smoke, but it won't last long. So, let's get these uh, couple of beautiful little herring fillets, or butterfly herring I should say, on there. We've already got olive oil and chilli, let's hit them with a little bit of garlic. And some all purpose. Close the lid and let that smoker do its thing. Now, over here, while the baby's doing its thing over there, I've got some oil just about ready to go over here. Got some paper towels ready. And that oil's probably, <laughs> I've left it go a bit long, so the oil's probably too hot, so. The first one might get a bit burnt. Anyway, let's see how we go. Oh, that should be all right. There you go, the dogs. Yeah, oil might have been a bit warm, but no, that's okay. Let's get this second batch in. Right, uh, second batch. Come on. Awesome. All right. Oil off. Handle in so the dogs don't jump up and tip it all over themselves. 
Yeah. Let's go and check the fish. Don't stick. Don't stick. You're sticking. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it's sticking. Anyway, that's so close. I'm going to give it another couple of minutes. And then we'll, uh, we'll get into it. All right, everything's ready. Let's have a taste. Okay, so here it is. Let's get a bit of lemon on there. Gotta have a lemon tree. All over everything, even the beer. Get it in there. So what do we got here? We got uh, corn, sweet potato, just sort of left them in wedges I guess. That's the herring, that one fell apart a little bit. Let's have a taste. Excuse fingers. Oh, that is so good. Want some bits? What about you roast? Yeah, there's uh, something about the humble herring. So many fishermen grew up catching herring as their, I guess their first fish and uh, don't get me wrong I wish I had a Dewey on the table right now but uh, look at that the humble herring's all right by me I only caught the two this morning but I mean I guess the point of the video is to show you can I had a pretty ordinary morning on the water only two fish but I had squid in the freezer let's have a taste of the squid mm. well you know what crumbed squid tastes like but I mean the point is you don't need a lot you don't need a huge catch to have a good seafood meal so I'm gonna smash this um, my helpers here will get some as well sink a couple of beers and uh, enjoy the evening. You've got to put up with that living close to Janicourt Airport. So, let me take this uh, camera off my head. Another bit of squid. Mmm. So good. So the message is you don't need a huge catch to have a pretty good seafood meal. If I don't mind sort of tooting my own horn a bit here. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. Tight lines. Cheers. See you next time.